Hi guys, it's uh, Inam Gafor again with the Sony Xperia S. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is show you how to get to the service menu uh, on a new Sony Xperia S smartphone. So what you do is, first of all, you go into your dialer, okay, and just punch in, and I'll put this code in uh, the description uh, of this video as well, so you can put just put it from there if you can't follow it on screen. It's star hash star hash seven three seven eight four two three hash star hash star there you go and it takes you to a service menu which is uh, reserved for service centers obviously uh, just to go through some of the s what kind of stuff we have in here just quickly service info gives you model info just with a model number in the middle obviously the button still works so you can go back when it's finished uh, it gives you software info there as in baseband versions uh, memory card info, it hasn't got a memory card obviously but it says no file found which is kind of strange why it would be in there in the first place when it doesn't contain it. the phone can't take an SD card slot uh, hey -ho. we go back one gives you sim card lock and it tells you what locks are in force for the network or the sim and there's nothing there they're all zeros any configuration settings where it gives you IME numbers you can see where it says routing status bootloader unlock allowed equals yes now that means you can unlock the bootloader and potentially root your device but that's for a future video and if we go back go back again to the main menu there we go still within the service menu if you go into service settings nothing there it says no item service tests now here we go this is a good one um, gives you the various things that they can test from the phone so we've got so if we do touch screen, I wonder what's there, and it says touch screen, and it puts a mark on the screen where you've touched. See if it actually does what it says, and it does. Uh, display puts various colors on the screen, so you can see if there's any dead pixels in there. Tap the screen, and the colors change. Let's have a look what else we got. Uh, speaker would be a good one. The office paint was a dull, sad tan. The frosty air passed and, uh, through the coat. You can hear the various music. Now it's got there. Um, the office paint was and now you can see it's, it's testing hand. the left and the right the channel speakers. The After it goes through the, the various sounds for the left hand side channel, it will go through to the right hand side channel. And make sure they're working properly. And it, this is an annoying test, especially with this particular sound, because I'm sure only dogs will hear it. Once. I, won't, I may wait till it goes to the right hand side channel but it's essentially the same sort of test but through the other speaker just to make sure as you can see there the you just go back through the coat. buttons still unresponsive and it, now I accidentally hit the microphone test so it's just doing a quick test there recording And you can hear myself talking back. So obviously the microphone is still working. We'll just go back. And then if we go into test the earphones as well, you won't hear this, but the same sounds that were going through the speakers also come through the earphone just to make sure that works okay. You can see it just says earphone there. I've got it turned on full, you may just about hear it. Yeah, you can hear it there a little bit. So that's still working. We'll hit back to go out of that. Here's a good one. You can check the vibration amount there. And it, it goes through a raft of options that you can test for. Uh, and this is what uh, the service centers use to test various aspects of the phone to, to see if it's working or not. And obviously the battery health test there. Here's a good one because it says good, no need to replace it. But how would you replace it? Obviously, a normal user can't replace it unless uh, the service centers do. Um, again, I still think the shortcoming of the phone is not having a removable battery, but you would have saw that if you watched my uh, review video of the Sony Xperia S. But that's how you get into the, the service menu on the Sony Xperia S. Uh, any questions or comments, please put those below. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. 
just to check out what I'm doing. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free. Thanks for watching, have a good day and goodbye.